Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, probably the most common type of bullet to be fired from a muzzle-loading rifle such as this would be a simple lead round ball. Now, I wouldn't be the first person to try stacking multiple balls on top of each other in a rifle like this, but the problem with your traditional double ball load is that when these two balls are stacked on top of each other in the bore, the g-forces of firing tend to sort of squish them together and the deformed shape loses its aerodynamic stability which degrades accuracy and so on and so forth. Well, if you recall, I recently made a video about making these oiled leather patches for muzzleloader shooting. I'm wondering, what if we take our double ball load and we separate the balls with a leather patch? You know, at that point I think it's going to be the leather patch that deforms rather than the lead, and so maybe they'll exit the muzzle more or less intact. At any rate, I'm actually going to load up some triple ball loads where the balls are separated by leather patches and there'll also be a leather patch between the powder charge and the first ball. Uh, and let's start by shooting just a paper target to see what kind of accuracy we're getting out of it, and then if the accuracy is acceptable, we'll try shooting some other targets. Okay, so I took five shots at 25 yards, uh, of course three balls per load for a total of 15 projectiles, and we can see there is a little bit of dispersion, uh, the gun's also shooting a little bit high at this range, but I'm going to say that that is very usable accuracy uh, at this range and probably even a little bit further. For starters, let's compare the effectiveness of our triple ball load versus a standard single ball load on a jug of water. Despite what the label says, this is just water. These were empty jugs that I refilled. Now let's compare the effect of our triple ball load against a standard single ball load on a frozen gallon jug of water, uh, since I happen to have a lot more of these around this time of year. Okay, so comparing the damage from the single ball loads on the left to the triple ball loads on the right, honestly, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference. Uh, if anything, it almost looks like the jugs hit by the single ball load took a little bit more damage. And I would speculate that that's probably because the single ball was moving at a little bit higher velocity uh, since I used the same powder charge with uh, one ball versus three. Okay, so there's a quick look at multi-ball muzzle loader loads. Um, I didn't have anything real specific or particularly scientific that I was trying to test here today. I was just curious to see what would happen with this kind of a load. And now we know. So, until next time, thank you for watching the Idahoan Show.